let's add a cool custom item model to Minecraft. Forge and fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. All right, friends, let's back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom item model to Minecraft. Now, the first question is, where the frick are we going to get a custom item model from? Well, we're going to do this with Blockbench. There we go. So Blockbench is, I mean, once again, just an amazing program which you can use to create custom 3D models with a beam, basically blocks. So if we just add a new generic model here, just for the sake of argument here, then what you can see is you can just add some cubes and then you can just scale them up in all sorts of ways. And you can almost, I mean, it's it's pretty much like building with Minecraft. Just, I mean, at the end you get a 3D, 3D model out of it. But this is not a blockbench tutorial. This is a tutorial of how you can take this blockbench staff in this case and create a custom item model for it. So this is already a, well, made model in this case, and we're going to see how you can use this in just a moment. But one interesting thing here in Blockbench is also this display tab, in which you can basically change this to display differently. As you can see, third person right, third person left. We can do first person right and left, and then also on the head. It's kind of interesting on the ground, how it looks in the frame, and also how it looks in the GUI or the inventory. So that's really cool that you can basically specify all of this with this particular, you know, in this program. And then how we can how can we take this and export it? Well, you just go to File, and then you go to Export, and then you just go Export Block Item Model. This will export it as a JSON file, as you can see. And this JSON file I've already prepared, of course, and we're going to use this in just a moment. All right, but before we add the JSON file, let's first of all add the item itself. So let's just copy over the count and bow, and this is going to be the Citrine underscore staff, and right here as well, Citrine under citrine underscore staff and this is going to be a item that's it a normal item now what i'm i am going to do is i'm going to say it stacks to one because that does make a lot of sense but apart from that it is a normal item nothing crazy going on here let's add the translation as well there you go citrine staff so this is pretty much all that we need here and then we go to the item model and the item model is exactly the json file that we have well just made so we're just going to add this here and you can see this is the exported JSON file. And we can literally just use this as an item model. Now, there are some things that we have to change here. Namely, we have to actually do this in Minecraft blocks, a block actually slash. There you go. Then we also need to add this here, here, and here. Then this also needs to be block slash citrine block. And then that should be it. So this just points to the different textures. Should make a lot of sense right under textures here. It just points to the textures. And this has to follow the same rules that every other uh, item model here follows, right? In the, for example, in the pickaxe, right? We also have to specify the texture with the name of the folder where it's in, stuff like that. So this is why this also needs to happen. So after this has happened, this is actually all that we need to do. The rest is all done via, I mean, basically Blockbench and everything else is written in this JSON file. So I can highly recommend playing around with this a little bit. It is really freaking cool. And just, you know, having something like this added to the game where, you know, you see this instead of just a normal item, that's really freaking cool. Like, I, I can tell you that. But whatever the case may be, for completion's sake, let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, the Citrine staff has been successfully added to the game and it looks freaking amazing. As you can see, I can also switch the, the hand that I hold it in and I can also then you can see in the first person, this is how it looks like. It's really freaking cool. Like, it's actually awesome. You can even see that the, you know, hitting animation also just, you know, works completely out of the gate. Let's throw it down. You can see I, I really like the, the way that you can also specify how it sort of looks in, you know, in the world when you throw it down. This is really freaking cool. And I can tell you, you know, adding just a few items with this, you know, with a little bit of a touch here like this. I mean, that's just going to spruce up your mod like crazy. So that's actually how easy it can be. Of course, all of the code, including the JSON file and the Blockbench model will be available in the description below for download. But otherwise, this would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.